So, Robin replied. Remember when I said I'd show you when she replies uh, before I open the message? <laughs> Sorry. I, uh, I immediately clicked on it just from muscle memory and habit. As soon as you get a Facebook ding, it's like, oh, message. Ah, oh, shit, it's Robin. Uh, this is what she said. So I am still excited to see what she brings me. I only asked her for like tire combination, wheel size, tire size, I think that's all I asked her for. I can't remember, um, but hopefully she gives me more information. That would be just awesome. But anyway, moving on. Finally in focus now. This video I'm gonna keep short. Actually, never mind, because we're not just sitting here today. We're gonna go to a junkyard. My older brother told me not to eat on camera. Well, I'm hungry. As you saw in this video, Robin has replied. Now, there's probably some information that she won't be able to get to me, like the type of axles they use, because given the photos I have of the Rover, it looks like they're using Data 30 and Data 35, which is stock for Jeep YJ. The problem is, those two axles are too weak for 37-inch military tires and wheels. So what's the next best thing? New axles, front and rear. I'm thinking full width, day in the 60s. So in the 70-inch range, or maybe a bit less if I can find. I don't want too wide now. Jeep Dana 30 and 35 uh, stock width is a 60 and a half inches. So if I get an axle that is around 70 inches, paired with the seven inch back spacing, on these uh, Humvee wheels I want to get, it should come out to a pretty nice stance, similar to Rover 1. But I'll have a full width, heavy duty, actual proper axles underneath. Another problem though, I don't want full floating axles, and I don't want locking hubs, purely for aesthetic reasons. The Rover does not have hubs. It's just a flat flange with eight bolt lug panels. That's what I want as well. So I'm thinking Dodge, right? I can use the Dana 60 from the front end of a three quarter ton or one ton Dodge. That'll work, it doesn't have locking hubs. But I can't use the rear end because they usually come with a Dana 70 or even a Dana 80. And that's just too big and too heavy. So this is where I'm at right now. I need to find a couple axles. So what I need is Dana 60s front and rear or equivalents without locking hubs and that's not full flowing. So I'm asking you axle nerds out there, what can I use? What model year? Where can I find such an axle? So what are we doing today? You can't just be sitting here, right? I'm gonna go look for some axles. I'm just scanning for a eight log of any kind. Here's one. This is exactly what I need. See how it doesn't have a nasty hub in the back? Perfect. What axle is this? I think it's that weird GM one. I don't know if I want this one actually. So let's scan around for some more. Here's an eight bolt. The problem with this eight bolt is the massive drum. And it's that weird jam axle again. Don't forget we can use eight bolt vans as well. Ah, next aisle. The thing I like about this yard is that most of, oh, a Jeep. Most of the vehicles here, or all of them, are set up on these stilt looking things. So it's easy to take the axles off. It's kind of nice. Well, this is a problem. Well, didn't find anything here except for those weird GM axles. So I'm gonna head to a, another junkyard and hopefully we can find something there. Stay tuned. What the hell? I 
guess they're closed on Saturdays. This is never the case. It's weird. This place is fairly vast. It has a few more trucks. Well, I guess that's it for this video. Uh, whenever I get here, I will film it. See what I can find. So tell further news. I shall talk to you later.